everyone uses Windows. It owns like 90% of the market share or something. That's mostly because it comes pre-installed on every single device that pretty much exists. Um, but the problem with Windows is that it takes up so much resources. And also, Windows requires a subscription for basic things like Word and Excel and PowerPoint and OneDrive, which I guess OneDrive isn't really a basic thing, but <laughs> if you boot into an operating system, for example, Linux, and you dedicate some of your hard drive space to that operating system, guess who will not let you access those files? On my Z drive, it's 2 terabytes, and Windows is only detecting 654 gigs because I'm dedicating the rest to Linux. Also, <laughs> Windows sells all of your information. I mean, it's not really a secret at this point. It won't let you uninstall Microsoft Edge. The uninstall button is grayed out. Linux, on the other hand, is free and open source. I could legit just open Microsoft Edge, go to Linux GitHub, and wait forever for it to load. Okay, finally, I can click Linux, and then I can click the Linux, and then here, here's Linux. It's just the, uh, it's just the code. As you can see, it was updated 11 hours ago. Windows, on the other hand, let's go to the Windows GitHub. <laughs> no, the first thing that pops up is the terminal, and then a calculator. I don't even have it. It's in the Microsoft Store. Windows drivers, yeah, but there's definitely, oh, Windows subsystem for Linux. Okay, anyways. Um, so, people say games run better on Windows, but for me personally, Minecraft gets much better performance on Linux. Like, I'm talking like 50% better performance. But on to actually coding stuff. So, recently I've looked into faster window framework managers. GLW is by far the most common one. I found a really good one called RGFW. It has all the features that I need, and it supports Windows, Linux, and Mac, which I'll get to later. So what I did was I installed the latest version on the GitHub page. It has a ton of naming changes every single update. Ugh, oh, it just drives me crazy. Wah. <laughs> but eventually I was able to switch all my GLFW functions to RGFW functions. And then I got linking errors because RGFW is a single header file. So you can just copy and paste it anywhere with ease. It uses this thing called RGFW implementation. So in one C or CPP file, you would hashtag define RGFW implementation. Unfortunately, Unfortunately for me, this was not working very well. It was still compiling the implementation in all HPP files, even if I only had it in one CPP, which I don't understand how that even happened. I tried creating a dedicated .c file for RGFW called RGFW.c, which is actually what they did in the uh, example. That did not work either, so I could either get it to link in every single file, or not link in any files, and then I would either have two redefinitions or no, no definitions of the functions. What I did was I switched to latest stable lease, which is version 1. Seven. And I tried this all over again, and to no avail. So what I did was I removed RGFW implementation in the code, so I wouldn't have to define it, and then I forward declared all the functions and only included it once in the CPP file. But I couldn't get that to work because forward declaring the functions in RGFW is an absolute nightmare. The last solution I could figure out, this was after like a week of work by the way, was manually creating a .c file for RGFW. So that's what I did. I went through all 9,000 lines of code in version 1.7 and converted it to a .h and a .c file. And I did, had to do this twice. I got it to compile to an object, but then I had uh, more linking errors, and then I had more runtime errors. <laughs> So what I had to do eventually was switch it to a .hpp and a .cpp file because the uh, variables were getting declared everywhere and redeclared and stuff, and so I had to use inline on them because I didn't want to use extern because the code base is an absolute spaghetti. The 1.7 code base is unlike anything I've ever seen in my life. It's craziness. It compiled, but had runtime errors creating the actual window, so I had to do a bunch of X11 linking and stuff on Linux to finally get that to work. And Windows worked pretty well. I had to fix a few stuff from the C to CPP switch, but other than that, Windows worked pretty well. And I finally got a window rendering with um, actual graphics on it after 12 days of work. 
after that, I decided I'm going to get Mac working now because I have like a week until I have to upload this video. Mac support shouldn't be that hard. Well, I was wrong because <laughs> I tried to compile for Mac by installing all the Mac stuff, but of course I have a bunch of dependencies in my code and that wasn't good enough. Vulkan does not come pre-installed on Mac OS, which is the dependencies that I was missing for Mac, which I didn't have to deal with on Windows or Linux because Vulkan already comes installed on the GPUs on those things. I had to get all that linking up with the code and all that compiling and then I ran into linking errors and then I ran into runtime errors and I actually still have not gotten it working after like a week's work of work on Mac OS. Which I know I named this video adding Mac support but it's not I added Mac support. It's adding Mac support to my Vulkan engine or something along those lines. Anyways I gotta get this video out so bye.